Because the name of the show is Argonautics. My name is Matt Resnowski, host of Argonautics, Great Lakes Paddleboard Adventures. Today we're going to be filming at Seven Lakes Recreation Area in Holly, Michigan, showing you the campsite um, and doing some cold water paddling out in Big Seven Lake, which is a 170 acre lake. Right currently it's 39 degrees, overcast and getting colder. Argonautics is a show that is going to highlight all the campgrounds, state cabins, waterways, lakes, and natural surroundings and outdoor settings that the state of Michigan and the other 11 Midwest states have to offer. You couldn't ask for a better place to launch a stand-up paddleboard from. Just walk your paddleboard out. You can go from six inches deep all the way to, I believe the lake's about 22 feet deep. I'm gonna be bringing more exposure to stand-up paddleboarding because I will be racing this summer in the Midwest stand-up paddleboard series. Every episode I will be going to local restaurants, local Michigan brew pubs, neat places in Michigan that are indigenous to the area, promoting Michigan businesses. At the same time this show is about bringing awareness to the Special Olympic athletes here in the state of Michigan and Special Olympics in general. Um, Heather Fox from the Special Olympics in Mount Pleasant has been nice enough to work with me on this project. Hi, once again, my name is Matt Resnowski, host of Argonautics, Great Lakes Paddleboard Adventures. Thank you to my photographer, filmer Matt Caracas, and the patience of my German Shepherd, Izzy. And off we go. Once I get walking, it, the body feels a lot better. Um, a lot of these state campsites have their own trail system within the campsite, and at the Seven Lakes uh, campsite or park, they do have a couple different trails. They have the Seven Lakes Dickinson Trail, which is 0.30 miles. It's a cross-country ski trail and a hiking trail. They have the Seven Lakes Green Trail Loop, which is a 2.10 uh, mile loop where you can cross-country ski, hike, mountain bike, and snowmobile. 
They also have the Seven Lakes Nature Trail Loop, which is just shy of one mile where you can cross country ski and hike. And they also have the Seven Lake Red Trail Loop, which is just shy of two miles where you can also snowmobile, uh, cross country ski, hike, and mountain bike. So with that, with, with the paddle boarding and the hiking and the camping involved here, um, I like to be out in nature. I like to be at a campsite. There's nothing better than pulling up to a campsite after you paddle all day, getting the fire going, enjoying some Michigan brews from Founders Brewery or uh, North Peak, you know, Northern United uh, Brewing Company out of Traverse City, um, enjoying some corridor sausage from the farmer's market down in Roll Oak. And, you know, you have your fire stoked, you're cooking some local food, you're enjoying some local uh, Michigan brews and you're enjoying the state of Michigan at its finest at the campsite with a lot of the great products that the state of Michigan has to offer. What I really like about paddle boarding out here, I've been here before, is there's a lot of vegetation in the water. So, if you're a stand-up paddler, you'll understand it. When you're standing on your paddleboard and the water's clear and you're looking down and you're seeing fish cut through the, the algae and the, and the vegetation underwater and the logs that are you know sunken in the water, it gives a whole new dimension and excitement to the, state, the, to the sport of paddleboarding. It's just fantastic when you're cruising out there. Instead of just looking forward, which a lot of people just look ahead, look around. I mean, look at the woods, look at the look at the ducks, look at the deer on the side of the lake drinking water. Look down below you and look at all the fish um, that are in season or feeding. It's just a really neat part of stand-up paddleboarding. I couldn't ask for a better state to be uh, a resident of because in the state of Michigan, with all the lakes and waterways we have, literally the state is my playground. Seven Lakes Recreation Aerial Campground and it's about 38 degrees now. It's rainy, it's overcast, it's pretty cold, uh, but that's fine. I'm keeping my head warm. I'm sporting a real nice stormy chromer cap that my girlfriend's dad gave to me for Christmas a couple years back and it's keeping my head nice and warm. If things really get cold, I can pull the flaps down and keep my ears warm too. My ears warm warms too. Um, fingertips are a little cold, that's fine. I really want to give a big thanks to Jimmy Lewis paddle boards. I am on a Jimmy Lewis searcher paddle board right now. It's made for touring. It handles great in the water, cuts through the water like you wouldn't believe. I'm very happy with this board so far. And then also, you can't paddle a paddle board without a paddle. Quick Blade, thank you so much. <laughs> Quick Blade was nice enough to send me a couple paddles. I ordered one in carbon fiber and one in fiberglass just to get the difference and feel and I ordered it in different lengths to see the length of the shaft to see what the paddling would be like with one longer and one shorter. At any rate, nice little quick paddle today. Um, picked up these boards last week from Great Lakes Kite Boarding out in St. Clair Shores from my friend Brian and Melanie. Um, they were able to get the paddle boards from Jimmy Lewis Paddle Boards uh, sent to their shop. That's where I picked them up. 
and I'll be doing a lot of work with Great Lakes kiteboarding on St. Clair Shores. Um, got the boards last Wednesday, put the fin on last night, packed the uh, paddle out of the package, and like I keep saying, this is a blueprint. This is going to be the recipe for what the uh, rest of the videos will be like. So with that being said, this is a wrap for the paddling part of this program. There's a lot of great amenities here at our campgrounds and campsites and the outdoors here in Michigan is fantastic. These are some pretty neat looking um, canopies here. It looked like to be developed probably in the 70s. Kind of with that little psychedelic extraterrestrial feel to it. So it's raining like it's raining right now. You want to get dry, you hang out under the canopy and enjoy the set, the scene, the scenery around Seven Lakes. It's a nice lake. Uh, and the whole the whole campground on a whole just ha it has a really neat layout. I think the rolling hills add a nice dimension. You name it, it's here. So that was Big Seven Lake. Seven Lakes Recreation Area of Holly, Michigan. About 36 degrees out right now. A little tired from paddling and a lot hungry. Heading towards the French Laundry in Fenton, Michigan to enjoy one of their good sandwiches and a hot bowl of soup. See you there. pastries from Zingerman's in Ann Arbor. Mm -hmm. For 14 years we would drive down at 3 a.m., get all the pastries, and then be back by 6 a.m. so we could open. So then we added breakfast. Uh, we, we were just, it was just a small little area right well, Every great dinner, there has to be a great kitchen, so we're going to head back to the kitchen with Chad and Mark and check out the Longer's Kitchen. Which is hard for a lot of people to believe, but everything from the Russian dressing, all of our dressings, to our coleslaw, all of our sauces, that we have lunch, dinner, all of our soups are done from scratch and, and that's from the car carrots and celery and onions right up to the full blown soup. So, and that's every single day. Uh, extremely challenging and a lot of work for a few people. Our kitchen is a lot bigger than when we started. Uh, when we started it was pretty much the size of a couple of closets together. We do three meals a day which is unusual for a restaurant today unless you're at Coney Island. This is Chef Jody Renori. She's been with us for eight and a half 
years. So Jody was uh, schooled at Schoolcraft in Michigan, which I think is regarded as one of the finest culinary schools in the state of Michigan. Uh, and to do three meals a day very well is very challenging, and to have a retail outlet as well. So. But everything we do here is from scratch, uh, and which is hard for a lot of people to believe, but we focus on high-end food. One of the trends right now is local, locally grown, uh, low impact. Jody uh, has designed all the menus. The dinner menu has changed four times a year. Uh, the other two stay very similar. Maxim Health, a magazine, rated this one of the best French onion soups in the country. They have a uh, jus sauce that goes on a French, uh, French dip sandwich. Very popular dish for us. We go through a lot of them. You guys see the bricks of uh, the wheels of cheese in the restaurant. Maybe you saw one in the back. We go through about 600 pounds of cheese. Uh, uh, we try to do as much as we can locally as we can. All the sauces. All the things, the coleslaw, that's all made in-house by Chef Jody that Mark was talking about. So, and very similar for the sandwich, this one here is... this that I'm eating here today? This is a brother's bread. It's after my two boys. Um, it's basically an Italian-style sandwich with focaccia made at the bakery with tomato, parmigiano reggiano, uh, pesto. Then we have our pickles that we talked about, and then the meats. There's a ham, there's French ham, there's, uh, ham, there's uh, salami, and then the pickle. So it's a it's a it's a meal for a couple days. Different restaurants, great spots to find, you know, paddle bar or camp or you know local state businesses. And I'll meet you there. Right, from here at Crust, a baking company in Fenton, Michigan, we're going to be meeting up with owner Chad Brandon. This is an extension of um, the laundry in Trent, Michigan, where we're just at, enjoying a uh, soup and sandwich. Chad's going to take us inside the crust to show us the uh, inner workings of the bakery. Hope you enjoy it. I'll tell you a little bit about the outside of the building. So, about three years ago, <clears throat> we were actually looking at a different building. And it was on the other side of town over here by us, between here and the laundry that you just came from. We didn't get that, which was a blessing in disguise. Uh, a couple of people that who owned this building were from members of the community for a long time, great people. They called us and said, hey, we have your building. You know, so well, let's go check it out, and this is it. It was a condo unit that had six tenants, or five tenants, that was broken up into six groups. And it was perfect. So we agreed to some terms, and we started on with the, uh, the journey of opening up the base. And we go through it. We left these windows because they were at once an entrance to the business. And we thought, what a great concept. You know, everybody can see the amount of love, attention to detail, and everything that's going into the product. Mm -hmm. It's very interactive. And, you know, for us, it's great. We want to show off you know, the artisan right. techniques that are taking place and just exactly how from scratch and from hand this is all, this all is. So, the cool. building really worked out great. Cool. Great. Looking forward to it. Come on in. Mm -hmm. so come on in. You know, about 13, 14 sandwiches, a couple salads. It's pretty simple. All the menus are on the back of five boxes. You can change the chandelier. I mentioned, I'm going to kind of walk you through this way. This is what we showed you earlier. This is the prep area where we do all of our menacerets, we do our croissants, our cookies, our pies, cakes. This came from Verona, Italy. We had to wait several months to get it. It was shipped. Then it was assembled. The electrical components were assembled in pieces in California. Then it was box trucked all the way to us. And then we built it ourselves with the gentleman that came from TMB Bakery out of California that kind of puts the electric components in. And we were fortunate enough that he was a fabricator stretch, stretch, uh, slash instructor. So we built the ovens with him, which gave us some understanding of how the components were, where everything was in case we needed to maintain or repair. We wouldn't have to wait for the gentleman from California to come. We could do kind of our own analysis right off the get-go. So this is what it is. Does TMB stand for too much bacon? They kind of scale everything, divide everything by hand, and they mix it by hand. Everything's done right in here for the most part, except for what goes into the walk-in unit. 
Ladies, do you think that your grip is a lot stronger since you've been in? Yeah, so my shirts are in the armor, it's really tight now. And my favorite shirt's from the day. I ever want to get punched by a baker. And it took, could take 18, 36 hours to make just a certain loaf of bread and what type of recipe we're working with. So, but there's nothing in there speeding it up or slowing it down. We don't utilize any additives or preservatives, no commercial yeast. There's, there's, it's really a natural product. It's meant to be bought fresh, enjoyed, and then bought again. Hi, Hi. 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 nice to meet you, man. All right. Pleasure to meet you. He's our general Great. baker. He's All the right. one who went to school and training. Yes, yep. I have a half of a Movember mustache. I was in the shower <laughs> and I forgot I had it, and I'm like, I gotta keep it. And we don't utilize any type of equipment. We don't have a proof for a retarder, so we're not trying to speed up or slow down the process of making the bread. We want it to be a natural product. Did you find yourself getting into food more before or after? after. after. Yeah. I mean, I love food product, but, but I didn't know what I, why I loved it. But, you know, and definitely, it's an art. It's an art. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, what she does over there, what's, ha what's happening here by all these people, um, it, it is an art. Yeah. 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 And when I get the last note in the Okay. And a blueberry pie. In a blueberry pie, okay. Some uh, camp campground over at Seven Lakes Recreation Area. We enjoyed some cold uh, weather paddling out in Big Seven Lake. We enjoyed a fantastic lunch at the Laundry in Fenton, Michigan, and got a nice tour of Crust, the baking company. We cannot forget that this show is all about uh, bringing awareness to the Special Olympic athletes of Michigan. Fenton, Michigan has five really good uh, Special Olympic athletes. The Special Olympic athletes are some of the best athletes in the world that show a lot of heart that need your help so always remember to give to anything that's related to the Special Olympics and the Special Olympics of Michigan. Uh, with that being said I really appreciate you folks viewing enjoying uh, Argonautics the Great Lakes Paddleboard Adventures. Thank you for being patient with this blueprint. It will get a lot uh, tighter next time around but today was the blueprint for what's about to come. Always remember life only gets harder if left unchallenged. Thank you for watching Argonautics with your host Matt Rosnowski. It's really...